Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Taru and today it is the last of the finales for the end of the year craziness. And yeah, today we are putting the beauty A to Z project pan to rest. And this was of course a fantastic ladies club and it was created by Amanda and Jessica and um, basically I was panning a product for each letter of the alphabet and they there were like 26 of the basic alphabets but I threw in two more for the Finnish letters A uh, and E so Let's go through my products. Last time I was working on, wait, if I can hold them up <laughs> at once, these five products. And I can tell you, that's the wrong one. <laughs> well done. Where did I put, oh, it's behind the other one. Similar looking bottle, yeah. That was the one. <laughs> Great start. This one, that was for the letter V for volume and yeah, there was that much left last time and I finished it. And you can see the lines. It took me the whole year to use this almost every time I washed my hair. So. That's pretty good for one small bottle. It's what is it? 100 mils. So that was great. Then for L is this Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner, and it is not completely empty, but I'm considering it done because I have to dip in like three times to get one eye done and yeah, it's it's gone <laughs> and I only used 0 0.1 gram since last update even though I used it quite a lot but yeah the line is thin and it is done and this one as well lasted the whole damn year <laughs> for like almost everyday use, maybe like four times a week or something. So pretty great for three euros. Definitely will be repurchasing when I need to. So that was in that. Oh, that one is done. Then the two Colourpop Ultra Satins, this one for F M and for M Molly and my goal was not to finish these but to get some use out of them or good use and you can see I've used this one a little bit and since last update I used it once in yesterday's video <laughs> uh, so we are slightly below that line but yeah I mean I'm not completely happy with this one this should be like more of an easy color to wear every day, but I just, I use it quite a lot, but I don't know. But this one, which is on my lips right now, I am loving, 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 loving that I used that much. And this one was a new line since the last update, so I have been using it quite a lot. And this might be my favorite color of all time. <laughs> I mean, I I wouldn't wear this like everywhere, but I just, I love it. And I should pan it before it goes bad, so. But anyways, I met my goals basically with this one. Not entirely happy with this one, happy with this one, so. That's that. And then this one. The Revolution Radiant Lights in Breathe for V. 
is it done or is it not done I have been using this whole year basically every time I do my makeup to like blend my cheek colors together and bronze my neck a little bit because it's slightly too dark for me but is it done let's see I mean I guess we can say it is done <laughs> there is still uh, some product like in the waffle pattern and a little bit on the edges but I can't really pick anything on my brush anymore so maybe I will like cross this or like scrape out what I can and use them loose but I think we can we can call this one done for the project and I I didn't think I can do it but I did it <laughs> so I'm super happy about that one and because I got this one done and I've met my goals with lipsticks I can say that I finished well not finished everything because there are some products that didn't work for me and I dumped them <laughs> but I would say this was a huge success for me yes 28 products mostly out of my collection these of course will stay yeah and now I will run through the other products I have finished earlier really quickly if I can talk it's late at night and yeah <laughs> I am a bit uh, like my makeup has been on for like 12 hours and I think I look like as well. <laughs> so bear with me. So for A, Andalou Naturals Apricot Cleanser. Didn't really like this one. B was this one. Then for C, I finished a contour powder, which was in here, I believe, in this Revolution contour palette. <laughs> that is not done, even though I wanted it to be done. But the contour powder is done. Then for the Revolution Pro Foundation Drops and I like them and I think I might repurchase when I use some of my other foundations. I really did like it. It's like lightweight and it's a nice satin finish. Then where are we? E was the e.l.f. color correcting powder whatever in cool and it was used pretty early on the year. Then F was the Colourpop one, G, Giovanni shampoo, which took me the whole year. I did like it and I didn't really, I <laughs> like, uh, I didn't think it would last this long, but it did. <laughs> so good, good, good. Then for H is the Revolution Hyaluronic Acid and I used it up and I have a new one or I might have used one and I'm on my third, <laughs> I'm not sure, but I have to have one at all times. Then where are we? I, Essence I Heart Color Eyeshadow Primer. It was okay, not as good as the Wet n Wild one, which unfortunately I won't be repurchasing, but I'm not sure if I would repurchase this one. Maybe I'll try something else, but it was fine. Then for J, which was really hard, and I had to look and look and look, and I finally found a whole bowl in this Giovanni conditioner, and I used it all up, and I would this again and I think I will buy this in the big shop big size if I can talk then the fail was K essence kajal in white and I don't think I even sharpened it because I realized 
my eyes look very droopy and sad and tired if I put this white on my waterline and I don't know what else I would do with the white pencil so this one will be finding a new home once I get to it so I didn't use it since like January maybe then L was the liquid ink liner, M was the cup of molly, and then in my big accomplishment, the blush in the shade now from Revolution. What a feeling to finish a blush, even though it is a small one. But since I can't really talk, yeah, got a blush out. Really excited. <laughs> Then for all I finished this Olive Allow body lotion. It was nice, no idea if it's cruelty free or not, so I wouldn't buy it. But since this, my mother actually gave me another one of these, so... <laughs> but I do like it, it's fine. Then for P was the Revolution Pro Base Spray Primer. And yeah. I liked it, but then I, I'm not sure if it like changed towards the end, but I didn't like it as much at the end, so I'm not sure. <laughs> then for Q was this Revolution Awesome Liquid, there's my Q, <laughs> eye primer, oh this was kind of like a mixer, and yeah, it came with something. I don't know what's the point with this one, but I used it. <laughs> then, for R was this <laughs> uh, Ultigram hand cream in rose, which is cut open. I did like it. I have another one of theirs. It's something else than rose, but they are, they are fine. I can buy them near me, so that is always a plus. <laughs> And for S was the Revolution Pro Supreme finishing spray. Fine. I'm not I don't really need like long lastiness from my setting sprays. I just want to like melt in the powder so it worked as well as any other. <laughs> then for where are we? T Revolution Mono Eyeshadow in Touch Me. It was a almost white color, so I used it to set my eye primer. That was that. <laughs> then for you was the Urtecram Conditioner in Rose. Would not buy this again, and yeah. But I have another one of their conditioners, and it's way better than this one. So but not as good as the Giovanni, so. But these, again, I can buy where I live. These I have to order from iHerb, so. Yeah. Then for V was the volume spray. W Petal Fresh White Readings Face Wash with Watermelon and Pineapple. I really liked it. Buy this again if I come across it. This one I bought from iHerb, so yeah. I would like to buy things where I live, but being cruelty free and not supporting parent companies that test on animals, it's not <laughs> that easy all the time, so yeah. But I like that one for X. Andalula, ah, whoa, Andalou Naturals Exfoliator took too long <laughs> to use this small thing up, but I don't really want to use physical exfoliators on my face, but this was a gentle one, so I did use it in the summertime when I'm not as sensitive with my face. <laughs> but it was fine if you want a gentle exfoliator. I won't buy those. Any of those again. I'm all about the chemical exfoliation. 
heaven i'm losing my breath <laughs> for why we are getting there uh it was i think it was this one <laughs> well anyways the yellow shade from this essence concealer corrector whatever palette and it is all done and i'm so happy to have this one out i wouldn't buy this again even i'm not sure if i want to have color correctors but even if i do want to have them not this one then for z was another fail the revolution cinemite and zinc and i tried to use this and i tried to like be slow with introducing it but my skin doesn't like this one so i gave up <laughs> and niacinamide seems to be one of those ingredients even like either you love it or you break out and i broke out so that's that i finally like it took me quite many months <laughs> to finally decide that yeah it does break me out so, yeah then the two Finnish letters and first one is A and it is A with double dots. I had my A Revivine or like liner, outliner, whatever. And I chose this lip liner in the shade Echelon from Revolution. And as you can see, it is very small and there is nothing left in it. And I can show you it was this tall or long or whatever and I finished it completely so that is exciting <laughs> and then for Ö which is all with double dots I chose Ölju which is oil and I chose the Shia Nut Oil from Now Solutions and I didn't have that much left but this is a very like heavy oil and in the winter i can use it on my face and then i think i used it maybe in my feet on my hands or or i'm not sure or maybe i did use this only on my face i think but i can use it in the winter for summertime it's way too heavy even for me but sheer oil is great for my skin Whew, I made it. You made it. Thanks for sitting th through that. I can't talk. It's hard. But anyways, 28 items in a year. I'm very happy. And this was a fun project to do. It is coming back, but I won't be doing this one. I like to try new things. <laughs> so... There will be probably something else coming. But anyways, thank you so much for watching at the end. And we will see you next time. Bye.